Okay, now we're going to work some momentum problems. Um, the equation for momentum that we're going to use is P is equal to MV. Um, I don't know why, but P is what stands for momentum. I guess all the M's were taken, so someone decided on P. doesn't really matter. We're going to work with it. M is mass, and V is velocity. We need to know the units of these things to make our lives easier. Velocity needs to be in meters per second. Mass needs to be in kilograms. And the unit of momentum, once these two things is had, will be kilograms times meter per second. It's kind of weird, but again, it, it's kind of like the, the P standing for momentum. It just, it is what it is. So here's how we're going to use it. Have a, I have two examples. The first one says a car with a mass of a thousand kilograms. Well, as soon as I see the word mass, I know that I have an M, and then it says a thousand kilograms. It moves at 20 meters per second. I'm writing down all my numbers with their units, and I'm deciding what they mean. Well, I know that, that meters per second is the unit of velocity. I need to memorize this. So that's a V. And the question up here says, what is the momentum of the car? So what it's asking me to find is P. Well, if I know these things, then I can simply plug this in. I can substitute it into my equation. P, I don't know, so I'm going to write P down again. My M is 1,000 uh, kilograms, and my V is 20 meters per second. Once I write all of that down, I can solve. That'll be 20,000. And the unit, nothing cancels, so it's just 20,000 20, kilograms times meter per second. It's, it's that simple to solve for momentum. Um, the other example that I have has you solving for velocity. So it's the same idea. Um, it says calculate the velocity. So right off the bat, I have the question. So V is a question mark. It says of an 8, oh, I'm sorry, a 0.8 kilogram kitten. I was going to have a really big cat there if it's 8 kilograms. So 0.8 kilograms, it doesn't tell me what that is, but I know that kilograms measures mass, so that's an M. And the, the cat, for whatever reason, has a momentum, that's a P, of 5 kilogram meters per second. Okay, it's back to the same thing. Just plug it into the formula. I do have a P this time, so that's 5 kilograms times meter per second. Mass is 0 0.8. I have a number for that. And V, I don't know, so it's just simply times V. Well, <clears throat> what do I do from here? I've got to get V by itself. Well, how I do that is I need to divide both sides by 0 0.8 kilograms. That'll cancel them out on the right side. On the left side, it actually cancels out kilograms. And when I do 5 divided by 0 0.8, I will get 6.25. And if I'm not sure what my units are, look right here, they're left over meters per second. And you could also have problems that solve for mass in the similar way, like where you're given a P and a V and have to solve for mass. But it's the same matter of labeling your problem and then coming up with your, um, like your, your list and plugging things in.